What's it like being a Fuqua student, participating, leading, and learning in clubs and other student organizations? Living it up in Durham, North Carolina, Bull City, cheering for the best basketball program in the country. Let's go Devils! We also have an impressive offering of courses, some world-class professors, and research opportunities. Number one in faculty, but also hanging banners for basketball. Now let's keep back to basketball! <laughs> let's go Devils! Hey, we need to talk about the academics portion of the application. Okay, fine. My name is Lauren. I've been with the Fuqua admissions team since 2015, so I know everything about the academics portion of the application. When you submit your application, you're required to submit transcripts from undergraduate studies. Your undergraduate transcript is a roadmap that tells the committee about your academic performance. We'll evaluate that roadmap. We'll look for areas of consistency. We'll look for highs and lows. Maybe you had some courses that you did really well in, or maybe courses that you struggled a bit. We'll also take a look at your quantitative abilities as well. We'll try to determine how well you'll perform with the rigor of our curriculum. So that means you'll look at economics class? Yes. Finance class? Yes. Accounting class? Yes. Gym class? We look at everything and want to see that you challenged yourself in undergrad. We like seeing well-rounded applicants, but hope there are some other courses to supplement that gym class performance. And hey, that gym class experience might pay off in the annual Blue Cup competition. If there's an item on your transcript that needs to be addressed, such as variable academic performance from one semester to the next, or a change in your major, please submit that information through the optional statement. For international applicants, please submit English translations of your transcripts in addition to the original version. However, you don't have to worry about converting a GPA or a class rank to a US grading scale. What about GRE, GMAT, or Executive Assessment Evaluation? We require you to submit at least one of those test types with your application. We use your standardized test as another data point to see your readiness for an MBA. We do not have a preference which test you submit. Really? No preference? Yes, really. We want you to present this part of your academic readiness with the test that is best for you. If you've taken your test of choice more than once, or took both the GMAT and GRE, or GMAT and Executive Assessment, submit all of your test scores to us. The admissions committee members are your cheerleaders in this process. We're rooting for you and will use the overall test score that helps you the most. We hope this information was helpful for you and look forward to welcoming you to campus soon. Now let's get back to those devils. Yes, let's go Duke.